Welcome to the broadcast. If you're just joining us this second hour, Miss Julie Kenner is here. New York Times bestselling author. Yes. Julie Kenner with us. Thanks for having me. Are you having a good time this I morning? I am having a good time. It's great. You've been I'm in the kitchen so and, and uh, snickerdoodles. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> we we I'm like still having the glow of the snickerdoodles. Have you inspired <laughs> any new, maybe, books you want to write or anything? Absolutely. Like that? I'm Four taking crazy, crazy women. women. You know, I think my next series is going to have to be set, you know, in there a live TV show. I was going to say very Veronica, cool. though. Absolutely. <laughs> we, we will have you read an excerpt of your new book, Heated, okay. but it's a little heated. So. <laughs> is your that. husband, when you come home, he's like, so, uh, well, how'd you hear about that? <laughs> <Does> he, <laughs> we never, we never tried that before. What, 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 what's going Julie, on? I can't talk about yours. the trade secrets. Does he read um, your books? You know, he's he. I've written a lot of books, and he's read some early on, but I don't think he reads all. What does you know, he as think about the real sexy scenes that you write? I think he likes the fact that they are selling very well. <laughs> <laughs> but does he, he want you to apply them at home? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, don't give him any ideas. <laughs> so Kate and William have, um, they have decided to do something really new. They hired a nanny who is young and pretty and, and all those things, whereas usually the nannies are older. And so it brings up a good question um, with children. We have children. Mm -hmm. Would you hire a young nanny, or would you be more comfortable oh, with Oh, Donna's sitting here shaking her head like, oh, <laughs> hell no. no, no, no. <laughs> and it has nothing to do with not trusting my husband and have everything to do with not trusting cute 22-year-olds. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, I trust Ryan all day, but then you get these young, hot, cute, and you've seen my husband. He's a, get a bit of a catch, and I'm just not having it. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. I don't know how. I, I, I don't. I don't think it matters. I don't know that it matters. I, I think you know, like you said. Oh come I'm on! Oh, no, thank you, Courtney. Here's why. Thank you, Courtney. No, here's why. Here's why it doesn't matter. I mean, if, if certainly if she's an idiot, I'm not going to hire her to take care of my children. I mean, she needs to be qualified. But I wouldn't worry about my husband because my husband's at work. She's with the kids. I. I think the mom's sort of like the go-to person but do you remember for the in, nanny. In the movie um, mm -hmm. In Sex in the City 2, when Charlotte gets the yep. nanny and she like has very large breasts, breasts and she like doesn't wear a bra and she's like yep. jumping up and down. And all the guys <laughs> she's are doing like, jumping jazz. And they're like, do you not see what we see? She's like, no, I see her masters of child psychology <laughs> and education. And then like they plant all these mm, thoughts in her head, right. like that maybe. And then like she comes home one day and like they're both giving her a giving the baby a bath, like her husband. <laughs> The nanny and like her shirt gets wet and she I mean I'm just saying crazier things have happened than a guy sleeping with I, the look nanny. Look at Jude Law, right? Yeah, well Jude Law and the nanny. I mean I guess straight yeah. they, they, they write erotica books about husbands and the cute nannies. <laughs> so yeah, no, I'm not in my house. Not in your house. <laughs> what do you think, Amy? I just want to oh, look at Ryan. Yeah. Ryan's like, what is this what is this conversation about away. young right, nannies? Right, right. Like Sure. Mm -hmm. Scott would be like, yeah, like a young oh, I'm 20 sure you year wouldn't old. mind a young nanny <laughs> at all. <laughs> no, I'm like Amy. I want Alice, and I want the nanny to cook. Yeah, there you go. That's yes. pretty much the bottom line. Now, if yeah. she's 22, pretty, and can cook, that's a whole that's thing. That's that. you know, I want yeah, to all crap. the elements. Hang on a second. All the elements. Um, so Luke Bryan, sweet, cute, Aww. darling country singer Luke Bryan, uh, took another fall off the stage. Bless his heart. I he, love him. He fell a couple weeks ago. Oh, geez. Oh. He falls again. Oh. Poor guy, and I don't know if it's just that he's like, just he's having so much fun. He just isn't watching. I think he's where sipping on some <laughs> syrup backstage before the show. He needs a nanny to make sure, <laughs> to make sure he doesn't fall. Well, Lisa, Lisa, remember when we were on that stage for the Texas Country Music Festival, and, yeah. and there was thousands of people there. And, you know, you that can get a little carried away when you're standing. Look at him. Yeah. He's moving. Yeah. He's, he's into. Oh. oh my goodness. <laughs> he's like, I meant to do that. Poor guy. Oh. He ended up no. needing stitches in his leg. Like it was kind of scary. What I love is he's still singing. He's still well, the down the there show singing. Going yeah. the show. Yeah. Down, yeah. I love him. Gives a whole new element to drop it like it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of show goes on, George Strait. <laughs> okay, King George, our beloved King George. This Saturday. Only in Texas do uh, they say that, King right? King George. This Saturday will be his last performance uh, in concert. He is ending his tour. Here's the straight country. He's ending his tour at the AT&T Stadium this Saturday. Now, he's not going to quit um, recording. He's just going to quit touring. So we will get to continue hearing uh, the great King George himself for years to come, I hope and pray. You know, he's such an example of, 
first of all, he just defines Texas so well. Uh, he's a true cowboy by the way he wears those Wranglers and the way he shapes his hat. Everybody knows he is the real deal. And he really deal. does, like have a he ranch. He is the and real deal. He is. Yeah. He's a, he's, a he's, like, he's a rancher. He's he, did, a he did a concert. It was actually the first concert that happened mm -hmm. in AT&T Stadium exactly, um, what was it, four years ago, five years ago? Um, it was the first concert mm -hmm. ever to happen in AT&T right. Stadium the first weekend of June. That's right. Um, wow. And now he's doing his last concert um, to kick off their summer music series the first weekend of June. So I, recently, single, I think it was five years ago. One, and quite a legend, quite a career, over 60 number one hits in country he's music. So he's had more number one hits than I think music. anyone else mm -hmm. yep. in the history of music. So. Really? He's, so, yep. He's oh, wow. wonderful. You know, we were talking about the hidden cash thing um, that was happening in California and different places, and, and now it's made its way to Dallas. Now, it's a, it's a copycat mm -hmm. hidden cash person that's behind this, but uh, they're placing cash different places in the city, and if you get on Twitter, you can get hints to hidden where it's going to be. Hidden cash DFW. And I guess today it's... Um, Tonight after 6, they've got to be posting. Victory, Victory Park. Yes, at Victory Park, they're supposed to be. And it's Hidden it's Cash at DFW. Hidden Cash DFW, yeah. Starts at 6 p.m. I know the original folks were a little upset because they're now sponsors that are putting this money in these envelopes. But, you know, the person, the original person who did it is doing it because he wants to feel good about helping people yeah. and doing it anonymously. Like, we don't need the recognition. Do the sponsors need recognition? You know. It is It'll be interesting. such a brilliant marketing idea, it. though. I'll tell so you there, what, you get you all those people on Twitter. And Twitter. Then you Twitter, Twitter. Follow the Twitter person on Instagram. Cool. I had not mm -hmm. heard this. Yeah. Sorry to be like the. <laughs> it's time I'm, to go. I'm, the, I'm the cynic that's like, it's a great yeah. marketing idea. Um, hey, today is the last day to enter our Gibson guitar giveaway personalized with Miranda Lambert's autograph. Tomorrow she releases her latest CD, Miranda Lambert Platinum, and we'll be drawing the lucky winner's name during our show. So to enter, just go to facebook.com slash the broadcast TV. You'll have to like our page and fill out a short form to enter and again the deadline to do that is today so get online right now like our facebook page fill out the form and we will be giving away the priceless guitar tomorrow Love cool. it. Nice. That's okay. a cool prize, you should see it? this guitar it's pretty amazing That's, it is yeah. very cool coming up next we'll find out how the miracle league of frisco paves the way for special needs children to experience different types of sports <laughs> we know so that excited. guy he's going to talk to us next